Africa is at the crossroads. It is now at the center of development. Concerns that its leaders have been involved for a decade now. These leaders are striving to find a happy outlet through which the black continent will be able to play a role at the forefront of the world stage. A new generation of leaders has to be considered who are capable of facing up a number of challenges such as fragmentation of the region, history and human rights and the implementation of new conditions for peace and freedom, the gauge of sustainable development, the ways in which these various challenges are tackled are crucial. Burkina Faso is facing major challenges, but the West African country people retain hope and a determination to pursue development projects whenever possible. The OPEC funds recent high-level mission highlighted the impact of education and health projects and particularly reaffirmed the organization commitment to the country and showed the potential of development to inspire hope. Burkina Faso is a low-income Sahelian country with a limited natural resource Sources. Its economy is largely based on agriculture, which employs 80% of the workforce, although good exports have increased. Despite the progress made, Burkina Faso faced a number of development challenges, particularly in the area of health and education. Burkina Faso suffered its second coup of the year when Captain Ibrahim Touare, the 34-year-old head of an artillery unit of the armed forces of Burkina Faso, declared himself head of state on September 30th. Ibrahim Touare is Burkina Faso president today, courtesy of two coups under nine months, January and September 2022. He became the world's youngest head of state in September when he and other junior military officers ousted Lieutenant Paul Damiba, who had also ascended to the presidency through a coup in January. Justify why they were removing Damiba from office, Tuare said in a televised address on October 1, 2022 that the embattled head of state had failed to tackle the perennial problems of insurgency. Burkina Faso has become a beacon for development projects poised for rapid expansion toward more sustainable developing country. Most recently, they received an estimated 60 million USD from the International Development Association directed at enhancing their livestock productions. The World Bank has significantly contributed to the country in order to promote sustainability to lift the country out of poverty. They have helped finance development projects which aim to stimulate the economy through various sectors. Donors, foreign countries, and international organizations have also invested large sums of money in numerous sectors of the economy. Ibrahim Touare has been in power for one year now and one of his vision is to construct all the major roads in Burkina which will be linking to the other part of the country, mainly from Wagadu to the country north. Another project going on under Ibrahim Touare is the construction of Wagadu Airport which is expected to be done by 2024 and this project are to generate 5,000 jobs for the people of Burkina which helps to reduce the unemployment rate in the country. Here comes the end of this educational video. If you find this video useful, please remember to share, subscribe and like the video.